Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here. So, Zorn OS 15.1 finally came out. And, yeah. Don't have anything else to say. Why are you looking at me? So, Zorn OS 15.1 finally came out. Uh, I moved my webcam because it, it was blocking the bottom right of the panel. But, basically what this adds is there, there's a new ISO for Zornos, Light, Light Ultimate, Ultimate, and Education as well as just Core. So every version of Zornos has gotten a new ISO. And let's look at what it adds. Now the first thing I noticed it added, this isn't in the change log, but uh, in the Ubiquity installer, it now has an option to opt out of the Zornos consensus. So I'll have a screenshot of what I'm talking about and yeah. This is a really good feature because before if you want to opt out, you'd have to, after you installed it, run sudo apt remove Zorin consensus. Uh, and that was causing a lot of controversy in the Linux community. So they did a good job by adding a opt out inside of the installer. That is a really good idea. Now Zorin OS Connect got some changes where you can now control the playback of the media player on your phone from the notifications menu on Zorin OS 15.1. So I'm guessing what this means is that if you're playing a video on your phone or something, you can now uh, control your media playback by going to your notifications. So that's an interesting feature. LibreOS got updated to 6.3, which gives it a plethora of improvements. I'm quoting this from the Zorin OS blog to make it more compatible with LibreOffice documents, or I mean Microsoft Office documents. And documents now open 97% faster than they did before. Now, while I'm in library office, they also added this new font called Sans Forgetta. So, uh, basically, this is a font that is designed to help you remember things. So, let's plop it in. And, <laughs> I don't really like how this looks. I think the reason this is designed to make you remember stuff faster is because in order to actually read it, you have to read it multiple times in order to actually read it correctly. This font works better when it's bigger, but I wouldn't really use this uh, at all, really. I am gonna use this font, though, on the thumbnail to get people to click on it. They're gonna be like, what the heck? And then they're gonna click on it and learn what the font is, I guess. I don't know. The program game mode is now inside of Zorn OS, so when you're playing supported games, it will automatically enable it in the background, and what this does is it allocates more CPU, GPU, and disk I.O. resources to the game you're playing, which makes its performance better. Now since I am in a virtual machine right now, I don't really want to test it because that will already give the games a detrimental hit in performance being in VM. I will test this on bare metal, not on Zorin OS, but I will on Arch using the game mode program. Now, if we head over to Zorn Appearance and go to Theme, there was already a night and dark mode where you get light mode in the morning and dark mode later at night. Now if you click on it, there's a manual mode where it sets it based on the time, so it is military time by default, however, uh, I could have it set be set this is 8pm and this is 6pm, so I can make it light from 6 in the morning to 8pm and then after 8pm until 6 in the morning it's dark. That's pretty cool. Interestingly, I also have noticed that accent colors now always change it to the light theme. I don't know why this is, this could be a bug. Uh, let me try it in Zorin OS Light and see if it's a bug. Yeah, so, uh, it looks like if I hit the dark mode and then switch the accent color, it now always switches it back to the light mode. Interestingly, however, uh, these other accent colors uh, for the dark mode are still listed inside of the appearance tab on Zorin OS Lite. Which means that uh, if you're on Zorin OS Lite, you can kind of get them to work, just not through Zorin Appearance. So that's probably a bug. That's a major bug. So yeah. One additional change is that they have made it so you can now change the XFCE Windows Manager theme from inside of Zorin Appearance if you are on Zorin OS Lite. Now I'm not sure why you'd want to do this because most of the themes don't look good with it, but you can do this if you want. Still, that bug I found with the dark mode could be really annoying if you don't know what you're doing and you want a accent color on the dark theme. So Zorn OS, please fix this issue. This is a major issue, so you have to fix it. Other than that though, that's Zorn OS. It's 
Uh, just a minor update to Zorn OS, just some usability improvements, really. Really, the biggest feature is the ability to set the time for the Zorn OS light in dark mode. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video, and I hope it helped you. Thank you to Patreon supporter Michelle Vantino for supporting the channel. And yeah, see you in the next video.